Welcome to the Cogita Sellers Portal. This is a quick tutorial on how to navigate the seller portal so you can manage your account and complete your orders. To log into the portal, you will need to use the email address that was assigned during your onboarding. If this is your first time accessing the portal, click on forgot your password, enter your email address, then press continue, which will send an email with your temporary password so you can access the portal. Once you log into your account, you will see the dashboard tab. This gives you a quick view of your account. Here you can see your current orders, any new orders, orders that are due to expire, which will re require urgent action. You can also view any claims that have been raised against your previous orders. And you can see when your inventory was last processed and updated in the system. To view your live orders, click on current orders. Here you can see a summary of your orders, when they are due to expire, and the status of each order. To view a specific order, click the order ID. Here you will find all the information required to complete your order, the billing address, the shipping address, contact details, the items that have been ordered, and you can also download this as an Excel file by clicking order lines. Once you're ready to complete your order, it's very important first to check the order lines and make sure the unit price and quantity are correct. If you have a specific product line that is either out of stock or cannot be fully fulfilled, you can adjust the quantity. Whenever there is a change, you will need to provide a reason for that change. If, for example, you're unable to fulfill this item because it's out of stock, then you'll select not enough stock of item. You can also make minor adjustments to the price to make sure it's consistent with what you have in your system. The next step will be to add any shipping costs for this order. And also, if this is a domestic order, to check the VAT. Otherwise, it will remain blank like so. Then once you have checked the order lines and added the shipping cost, the next step is to add the shipping details. If you are shipping your box with a carrier, you can simply search for the carrier name, add the track and trace link and the track and trace number. If you are shipping your order by pallet, you can fill the relevant details and also we will require an estimated delivery date, which can be selected here. If you have more than one box that you're shipping, you can add multiple track and trace numbers. Then once you've added all the track and trace numbers, press save. In the next section, you can add any additional documents such as packing lists, CMR documents, invoices, or any customs declarations. Once you've added any relevant files, press trigger payment, your order summary will appear, and then press confirm. If you receive an order that you are unable to fulfill, you can decline the whole order. Simply scroll down to the bottom, press decline order, and provide your reasons for declining. If this is an issue with stock, you can put, we do not have the requested goods in stock and you can provide any additional information. You can also view your previous orders by clicking completed orders. Here you can see all your previously fulfilled orders. And if you click into each order ID, you can also view the invoice that we've generated for that order. For any orders that expired or you declined, 
you can view them under expired orders. Remember, when you receive an order, you will have six business days to complete the order. And if there's no action taken within this time, then the order will expire and you will lose the sale. By clicking on the inventory tab, this will show you a list of items that are uncompetitively priced in your stock list. By hovering over the unit price, you can see the cheapest price that is offered by one of our sellers. To download a whole list of these items, click Download Overview. If you wish to apply a discount to your whole stock list, you can do so by clicking Edit Discount and applying the discount you wish to. In our Help Center, you will also have some useful resources. If you are having any issues using the Seller Portal or have any questions, you can reach out by going to the Help Center clicking on report an issue, and our account managers will be on hand to help. You can also access the seller handbook, which is a guide to fulfilling orders with Cogita, and most importantly, our terms and conditions. These are a quick guide to understand how to comply with our terms and practices so you're ready to receive orders from Cogita. It's important that you take the time to read through these before completing your orders. Having an effective, smooth, and growing collaboration with Cogita will help maximize your performance and efficiently grow your business with us.